Hello YTPC, this is Steve and you're watching Smoking Cardboard. Although I've put out another video this year. This is technically the first video I'm making this year. Um, I uh, changed my little channel icon or whatever it is. The one that I previously had was a, a drawing my daughter made. And um, I thought I would let her try to make another one. So that's uh, the newest one that she made. And then um, <clears throat> kind of make these uh, photos that I put on top of my video. I might uh, start inserting them at the very beginning of the video, which you would have already saw there. Um, that way I uh, can see it in my files to which video it is, because right now they all look exactly the same, me sitting in front of a, a sign. And uh, I took that picture with the help of my wife. That's a piece of art that I, I made. At one point in time, my wife wanted to make pieces of art and um, try to sell them at like craft shows or whatever. And I was like, well, you kind of want some bigger pieces of art to kind of attract people and then sell little pieces. But she wasn't so much in designing a bigger piece of art. So I designed it, I built it, and then by the time we were done with that, she didn't really want to do that anymore. So it's fine. We got a nice pretty piece of art out of it, I think. And um, so that's what's in the picture. I'm smoking my uh, Peterson spigot. Um, I always forget these numbers. 302, 9 mil filtered. P lip. Do I like the P lip? I, I think the P lip irritates the roof of my mouth instead of my tongue. So I'm not sure that it makes much of a difference. But it's something different. Anyway, I'm smoking in that Abing Dunn. I really like that blend. I'm kind of getting closer to the end. Like that other one I smoked last winter, those Latakia two in two ounce thing. Oh man, I can just get there are just so many bowls in these things. Just thirty smokes out of one of these tins. They just go forever. You're like, oh, okay. I'd try to something else now. I'm 20 smokes in, but it's like, no, you got 10 more smokes to go, buddy. After all, I really enjoy this uh, blend uh, a lot. It'd be interesting to kind of compare it with the Westminster and uh, Maltese Falcon some more. But I really I really enjoy the flavors. Even as it's dried out in the tin, it's uh the flavors are great. So I got a bunch of stuff to go over. So last time I filmed was pre Christmas. Man, I am struggling to get this alight. Being too gentle. All right. So for Christmas, I got this uh, this piece of art here. It's a Dr. Grabo ad from my wife. Um, also Photoshop on top of myself here. The other um, Prince Albert um, ads that she sent me that were framed. Really 
nice kind gift I've been trying to find like signs or posters to hang behind me and it was proving difficult so I guess she went looking and she found some people that salvaged uh, ads out of old magazines so that was really cool and I actually got a uh, really sweet knife that I don't have with me right now from my mom to cut plugs that I uh, must have sent my wife back in the fall sometime saying, oh, I'd like to have a more. It's like that Damascus steel, whatever, where it's, it looks really cool. But So that's really cool. Um, I uh, ended up going to Anthony's that uh, Sam, um, doing it wrong, talked about and showed. Uh, there I I was watching the Vikings game, so it was really busy, so the cigar smoke was quite thick. Um, I bought a, uh, all the tobacco in Minnesota is really expensive. It must be taxed really high. But I bought one of the Kringle Flake tins. I don't know really I'm going to smoke it. I might, I might kind of got it, maybe like I'd give it away. Um. Uh, they also had a um, um, a, a lot of other C and D tins, and uh, I had I got some bulk uh, Virginia slices, the Sutless Virginia slices, the five hundred seven C or whatever it is, and I had that there, and it was really really tasty. It might like a lot of tobaccos, bit my tongue a little bit, but not too bad. Um, it was just uh, really, really uh, my sort of Virginians, grassy hay, um, bright. Um, so I, I enjoyed that and enjoying smoking indoors during the winter times, even though, like, man, when I got home, man, that cigar smoke <laughs> was all out on me. <laughs> Needed to take a shower almost. Then went to my, my parents, um, was there. Um, I went to try to find some more tobacco shops and I found Ted's in Lincoln, Nebraska and Cliff's in Lincoln, Nebraska. In Cliff's, I kind of just seen what people have. It's a real small shop. Um, definitely had pipes and some pipe tobacco that makes their own. So I got two blends to try. I don't remember their names. Um. Uh, when I try them, I'll shout it out there. And then uh, they had some Drew Estate tins um, that I didn't pick up. I probably should have. I just, the wife was with me, so I felt bad spending a bunch of money on tins when I really don't need a bunch of tins. They're aromatics, so older aromatics. Anyway, uh, it was the, the cherry, heirloom cherry and... Uh, something blonde. And then they had some other stuff. They did have the Amphora Kentucky. But um, their prices on tobacco way more reasonable. And then um, went over to uh, Ted's. And they had a nice selection. They had like tins of Capstan. They had Wessex Campaign Flake and some other stuff. And then they had a bunch of bulk jars of uh, just like Peter Stockaby stuff and um, Mac Barron stuff. And there I found um, old uh, Mac Barron London blend that was in bulk. So I just bought some of that because I know I like their Burleys like that. Um, I tried smoking that later. And I think it was so dry and a little bit windy because it's Nebraska. Man, I think I, I just burnt my tongue. And then um, I uh, got some HH Vintage Syrian there. They had some bulk of that. So that was cool. That was mostly uh, the trip, things going on. Uh, but when I was there, I got a notification. I was looking for some... Um, um, Dan Tobacco, Old Ironside. 
so I ordered this. And with it, since Dan was around and I like some of their stuff, I got some other stuff to try. I got this uh, Limerick Virginia Flake. I got some Devil's Holiday uh, Air Mac that I've heard a lot about. And then I got this other Virginia from Dan Tobacco. And then I got other tins of this, but I've yet to crack one of them, but I know they're so, they're supposed to be good. And, you know, honestly, I haven't had Virginia's I don't like except for that bite, bite my tongue. Um, so as long as they're flake form, it's good stuff. Uh, so we'll see if I, I doubt I'll get to any of those this year. Um, I just got a lot of other blends that I'm trying to get to that are older than that. So I'll just let those age while I get to the other blends, which kind of goes into what am I doing this next year? Charlie Boca Boyton was asking me, Hey, what's your plan for this year? You always got a plan. I was like, Oh my gosh, I wasn't really thinking about changing anything up, but maybe I should, you know, if Charlie's got a plan man, I should have a plan. And I gotta say, I don't really have a plan. Uh, I, uh, last, I really want to make some videos where I'm just kind of going through basics that might help a new pipe smoker, uh, just make a whole set of them, of core stuff that I feel like pipe smokers ask a lot. Just as a resource, I know there's tons of those out there, but you know, different perspectives, whatever. Don't worry, you don't have to watch them if you already know all that stuff. Uh, so we'll see if I get that done. Otherwise, I don't know, I'm just doing my own thing. Uh, I keep trying to make like a video a week. Um, so we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. Uh, other stuff. I tried, uh, not tried. I purchased a pipe. Um, I commissioned one from Jay Mouton and, um, I told him exactly what I wanted, but I gave him a lot of liberty to make it look cool. Uh, and I must say he did. Um, the pipe, I don't know how well you can see that, but it is really pretty. Got a little mammoth tooth on the stem there, and it's a nine mil. So, you know, I was trying to find someone that would make a pipe like this. Um, it was kind of hard to find someone that do nine mil and I liked their other stuff. So I was trying to diversify, but you know, when you got something good going with a, uh, a pipe maker, maybe you just don't jinx it. So it turned out with a real cool blast, um, real nice pipe. I wanted something with a, a short bowl a squat bowl um, because I, I just put these flakes in these <laughs> uh, my regular pipes and it's like man you just smoke two hours you know easy and it's just annoying I just want to be able to fill a pipe up and it take like an hour <laughs> top so I trying to get shorter bowls which is funny because initially it's like oh I love pipe smoking so much I want to get the biggest pipe I can get and now I'm just like, man, I just can't. It's taxing smoking for two hours for me. So um, it's not really a, a clencher. I don't really want to bite that hard on it. Maybe if I put something around there, I would. It's not super heavy. But this will be like a holding a holding pipe. But uh, pretty cool. I haven't broken it in yet. 
I'm just not ready to do that yet. Um, so that's my pipe. I got some tobaccos. What else? So I was gifted some, um, some, I don't know, we can make, I have a friend, Adam, in the UK that we've been swapping tobaccos, and he was kind enough to send me some stuff. So I tried um, Cabby's mixture, and I'm not really sure. Some of these blends, I light them up, and they just start tingling the tongue serious. And that was something serious when I lit up Cabby's mixture. Like, right away, it was like, oh, I'm just not ready to have my my mouth scorched with this stuff. And so I set it aside. I was like, oh, I'll try it again next day. And next day I light it up, same thing. So I just said, I'm just not, I'm just not wanting to do this right now. So I still have some, maybe I'll try a smaller bowl and just try to smoke it through and see if that sensation goes away. But right now I think I can't do cabbie's mixture because uh, it'll bite my tongue real bad. So then I went on to um, the 1792 Samuel Goweth Flake. Um, and I really enjoyed that. Um, I, it did have a lot of nicotine, but not like too much. The flavor was pretty strong. Uh, it's a strong stout blend. Uh, I was really enjoying the entirety of the smoke. Um, but then I tried to do to like two smokes in the same day. And I was smoking the Jermaine's Lakeland Dark later. And it was just too much. I was just like, I got too much flavor. I have to like smoke something that's not <laughs> as intense. So props to all you guys that uh, smoke that all day long. Uh, but man, for me, it was like, you know, trying to eat an entire pork roast by yourself. So, uh, really delicious. I liked the uh, Tonkin bean or whatever. Um, I would probably rub it out next time. I just kind of kept it in the flake form and stuffed it and smoked it. Um, which I got through the smoke fine, but I'd probably rub it out next time to smaller pieces. I think it would just be a more enjoyable smoke. And then... Um, I tried a sample he gave me of uh, Rattray's Big Piper's Dream. I just tried that today, and that was really nice. Um, I I felt like I was not smoking hot air, <laughs> like some aromatics. It had a lot of flavor. Um, it was pleasant. I'm not really sure what the flavor was. Um, uh, it was it wasn't heavy. It did get a little bitey, um, and man, it really wanted to heat up my pipe. It wanted to burn hot, hot, so I had to take a couple like breaks on it to let my pipe cool back down. And I was trying to sh sip it, like it was just it wanted to it wanted to burn. So, uh, I guess that's all. Got other stuff to go over, but you can only fit so much in a video. Really appreciate all you guys for watching. I hope you guys um, are doing all right. I know that, um, yeah, some of you are doing great. Some of you guys having rough times and appreciate all of you guys as uh, watchers and supporters. And uh, I'm looking forward to <clears throat> another year making videos and uh, being part of the YTPC, hopefully I can keep watching people's channels. I might have to be more limiting than I am with my time. Uh, as just some phases in your life are. Uh, but I still try to watch people's videos as best as I can. Um, so anyway, with that, you all be well. And we'll see you soon.